Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we see the race around condition in the JK flip flop. Race around condition in JK flip flop. I believe we have a decent idea of it. But today we see it a little graphical. All right, now what is a race around condition? You know that the basic definition, the continuous changing in the output is called race around condition. It's what? It's the continuous changing of output, which means that we have a zero directly changes to one it changes to zero one and it goes on and on so on now we have another term related to it that is called the toggling that is called the toggling toggling is what toggling is the control change of output which means that it will only change once like in the JK flip-flop in the last video we saw, so it was racing. It was 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and was racing. Whereas toggling, it only changes from if the previous state is 0, the next change becomes 1. If it is complemented, the next state is the complement of the previous state, this means that it has been toggled. This is toggling, the control chain. Whereas racing is what? Racing. It is the uncontrolled chain of output. And by uncontrolled, we mean what? That it is racing. All right, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. We have no control over it unless and until the clock has been attained, ha attains the low state. All right, so let's say we see it through, through this method. Let's say I draw the clock signal. We have already seen what a clock signal is. It goes from low to high, from high to low, and so on, with the passage of time t. Let's say I draw this to make our calculations more perfect. Okay. You also know about the leading and the falling edges. This is the leading edge, this is the falling edge, this is the leading edge, this is the falling edge, leading edge, falling edge, and so on. At this time, the value is 0, and here the value is 1. Now, the race around condition, for in order for the race around condition to occur, both J and K have to be 1. So, let's say this is J, which is 1. And this is, let's say, K, which is, again... One. Now the output Q. So I said I draw it with the red color. And initially assume that let's say it is zero. All right. Let's say it was zero initial. Now what happens when the clock is going high? This will also go high. And for the time period that the clock is high, it will continuously be changing from between zeros and ones. We've seen that from the truth table. If you haven't seen that, you watch the previous video first. Now what happens? First it is in the higher state. Now it comes to the lower state, goes back to the high state, comes back to the low. High, low. High, low. And finally high. And at this time now, when the clock becomes, when the clock is coming to the low state, this also comes to the low state. And now what happens? It stays low until the clock is low. Alright? Now this, this that I have mentioned, this is the racing. Fine? Now what happens? When the clock is going high, it goes high. And again, has the racing. From high to low and from low to high. And then again comes back low with the clock. When the clock is low, 
output is also low. When the clock goes high, the output goes high. Fine, the clock is high, the output is also going high, and now again it comes back to zero, back to one, back to zero, back one, zero, one, zero, one. Finally, again in the falling gate, it comes down to zero and zero. That is with the passage of time, all right? So that's the racing condition in the JK flip flop. Now, if in order to for 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 the in order for the racing to occur you should have the time period half of the time period greater than the propagation delay propagation delay okay now this is the time period let's say between two high pulses this one this is the time period and half of this time period should be greater than the propagation delay. Now what is the propagation delay? This is the delay that occurs within the gates. You give them some inputs, so it will, time to pro it will take time to process it. It will not give you the output directly. And that is what is called, the, the time taken is called the propagation delay of the gate. Now that if the time, if the half of the time, half of this time is not greater than the propagation delay, then this racing will not occur and the output will not be generated. All right? So that's about the propagation delay, okay? Now let's say we, so we see the conditions to overcome this raising. Uh, to overcome raising. How to overcome raising, or let's say this is the heading. All right? So we have a number of methods. Let's say I introduce you to three methods. The first, number one is what? That the T by two, the half time period, should be made less than the propagation delay of the, of the gates. Then they will not be in line with each other and then the, the racing will not occur, okay? Number two, to make edge triggering. To have edge triggering. You know what edge triggering is. All right, to make flip-flop work on what? When, it is, uh, when the clock is going from low to high state or from high to low state. In this, day, in this video that we see, it is a level trigger, okay? It is, uh, it is uh, raising at this particular time that I have mentioned with the blue color, all right? And the third, the third and the most important is to use the master-slave flip-flops. Now, out of these three, the third is the most important, the master-slave flip-flop that we see in the next video, inshallah. The first, the time period is made less than the propagation delay, so this is something difficult to achieve, and this is not practical, so which means we don't use this, okay? The first method is not used. The second and the third are approximately the same that we'll be seeing in the next video, inshallah. And the first is not a practical method that is difficult to design, okay? We will be marrying, varying the, the, the propagation delay comes from the factory, okay? They are integrated chips, so you cannot change the propagation delay. The time period for that, you need to change, vary the frequency and vary the time period. So the frequency is in megahertz and the time period is very small. So playing with it, that's a tough job. So leave that method. In the next video, we see the master slave flip-flop. So see you very soon. Till then, take care. Goodbye.